Pan Am Games are just over one week away. And as athletes and fans prepare to head to Toronto, commuters are already feeling the impact of traffic restrictions. Today marks the start of the Pan Am HOV lanes on major highways, where only three or more in a vehicle are permitted between the hours of 5 a.m. and 11 p.m. and will remain in effect until July 27th. So we hit the streets to see if you think transit will be a travel nightmare or if you think organizers will have it under control. It probably will be overcrowded uh, and we just have to deal with it. I think the traffic situation was already an issue before the Pan Am Games, so I just don't think that they're ready for it. Traffic right now is horrible. Right now it's impossible. With all the changes that they're making, um, uh, no, don't do it. <laughs> yeah, I wouldn't go anywhere. I would just stay home. It doesn't affect me. Uh, I think it will affect other people. It's just part of the game. No, I work at home. <laughs> I don't think nobody cares about the Pan Am Games that much, so I don't think it's going to change that much. It's overcrowded even now there are no Pan Am Games. Of course it's going to be clogged, right? So, but let's see how much we can manage and we can help the city, but it's on us, right, to help Pan Am Games too. Well, I hope they have it under control, but I'm used to dealing with temporary traffic problems in the city, so... You know what, as long as the Pan Am Games bring a lot of joy to the city, I think people will be okay with all the extra traffic that comes every now and again.